Dolphins fans. Tyler Jones, Trey Sherrard here with you with reaction to Shaq Barrett headed to the Miami Dolphins on a one-year, $9 million deal. He's a Super Bowl champion. He's a pro bowler. And now the Dolphins get a guy that not only plays at a high level, but a pretty reasonable deal here, Trace. Absolutely. Shaq Barrett is a phenomenal football player. And lining up alongside Bradley Chubb, uh, Nick Needham, Javon Holland, Jalen Ramsey. Jordan Brooks now, Jordan too. Brooks especially. Yeah, you're going to have a really interesting defensive unit in South Beach. You can see the production on your screen right now. He's a dynamic player. But also, I want to point out one thing from PFF. A pass rush grade of 84.5 and total pressures. He had 49. So if he can turn some of those pressures into sacks, you can see that four and a half number climb a little bit higher. I like this move for Miami. I think it's going to be a very interesting addition for Mike McDaniel's team. Yeah, you look at uh, the resume for Shaq Barrett. Started with the Denver Broncos. He's come a long way from being an undrafted player out of Colorado State uh, to go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It was part of that Tom Brady Super Bowl team. Won a Super Bowl with Denver as well, Super Bowl 50. Uh, second team all pro as recently as 2019. Uh, Shaq Barrett's been a, a very good football player. The Miami Dolphins, we know all about the offense, right? You yep. talk about Tyreek Hill and Tua and Waddle and all those guys. But now investing in that defense, taking that next step, the, the, the one word reaction I have is now. Is now the time? Are the Dolphins going to take that next step up? Is Guys like Shaq Barrett going to be the difference to get this team over the hump. Absolutely. My one-word reaction would have to be compete because I think that the Dolphins are trying to compete and get over that hump of getting past the Chiefs, the Bills, the Ravens, some of these top-tier teams in the AFC. And this is a move that can allow them to have a more effective defense and stop some of these very high-profile offenses that are led by Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, and a lot of other really good teams in the AFC. So last four years, Tyler, this guy has been doing it for a, quite a while. Four and a half sacks this past year, three sacks in 2022, 10 sacks back in 2021. I mean, it, this feels like a really awesome move for Miami. Well, and, and think about this. Uh, we talk all the time about durability and mm -hmm. being available. When you look at Shaq Barrett's career, he's played the majority of games every season except 2022. He only played eight games without due to injury there a bit in 2022. But, I mean, you look at his game charts over the years, 16, 16, 16, 13, 16, 15. He, he is going to be a guy that you can count on for the most part. And, and even as he's gotten older a bit, this guy still had four and a half sacks last year. Are you getting the Shaq Barrett that you got – with the Super Bowl champion Tempe Buccaneers a couple of years ago? Probably not, if we're going to be honest with you. But he's still a very good football player. He still has something left to offer here. Yeah, and I think that bringing him in with Jalen Phillips is a really awesome move. Obviously, Jalen Phillips left the season early last year due to an injury. And I think that this gives them a little bit of extra insurance in case there are more injuries in the future. And like you said, he is a really talented player out of Colorado State. He's been able to get it done, won a Super Bowl with the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And quite honestly, sticking around in Florida is not a bad gig. I would love to hang no out in Florida. No state income tax. Absolutely. It feels good. The weather's nice pretty much all year. No income tax. That's got to be pretty, pretty good deal for a player like Shaq Barrett. And at the end of the day, this is why you subscribe. Because we're going to be bringing you guys Dolphins news, rumors, and updates every single time that there's something to talk about. We're trying to get to 56,000 subscribers. Tyler, why should they subscribe? Well, we have the best Dolphins coverage on YouTube. No we're doubt. bringing you the news you need to know on your Baltimore Ravens. we got the rumors. We're covering everything on free agency, the draft, all the trade uh, speculation and more. We are your Dolphins headquarters. Subscribe now. Join the family. Help us get to 56K subs. You ain't a Dolphins fan if you ain't subscribed to the channel. Join the family now. You'll be glad you did. So the Dolphins, we've seen over the last couple of seasons, they've been very active. They've been big spenders when it comes to free agency. They're not afraid to be aggressive and make trades. And so far, I know it wasn't fun losing Christian Wilkins. 
and it wasn't fun losing Hunt and some of these guys here. But that hasn't stopped the Miami Dolphins from still trying to find their footing of sorts and 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 spend the guys to to make a a difference of sorts on this team. Like even with the guys they've lost, Christian Wilkins, granted, is a big deal, and that frustrated a lot of Dolphins fans, rightfully so. Mm-hmm. This team's not going away quietly. No, not at all. And I think that with that round two pick at number 55 overall, you can still bring in some talent in the second round. You can get a lot of high-profile players in the first 60 picks of the draft. And I think that the Dolphins should try and still add to that roster. Maybe go get to another weapon, because why not? I'm a sucker for offensive talent, and I love seeing a team have as many weapons as possible. But when you bring in a guy like Shaq Barrett, you're bringing in a leader, and you're bringing in a veteran who knows how to play the game of football at a very high level. And at the end of the day, you got to shore up the defense, because if you want to try and beat some of these teams in make a run in the playoffs, and try to get over that hump. Defense, at the end of the day, will win you those games. Offense, they clearly have right. no point problem scoring points, so, but the defense needs to step up. So more on Shaq Barrett, uh, a couple things. We, we've gone over the stats, the history, his story of what he's done, the Super Bowls, the Pro Bowls, all that. But this guy set some records, too. Mm-hmm. He's got two NFL records on hand, most sacks through the first three weeks of a single season. 2019, he had eight sacks in three weeks. <sighs> Then, he set another record the following week, had the most sacks through the first four weeks of a season with nine uh, there in 2019. He holds three Bucks franchise records, the most sacks in a single season, 19 and a half he had in 2019. If you're a Dolphins fan, you you would take half of that next year (laughs) as far as I'm concerned. Most sacks in a game, he had four in 2019 against the Giants. Most forced fumbles in a game, two uh, against the Giants as well. Just has been an incredible pass rusher over the years. I think he's going to thrive in Miami. Great signing, A, B, C, D, or F. What do you think of this move to bring Shaq Barrett to Miami? Trace, I'm going to go with an A. Now, I know he's not the same player that he once was, but it was a reasonable contract. It's yep. a one-year deal. I like it. I give it an A. What's your grade B? I mean, that's a bare minimum. I'm going to give it a B plus. but to be honest, I think it's an A signing as well. We've talked about it. The history, the production, the records that this guy has set. It is undoubt- he is undoubtedly a good football player that's going to make a positive impact in Miami. But let's just see how much of an impact he makes, and let's see if the Dolphins can get over the hump. And this is a player who can possibly make it happen. Shaq Barrett headed to Miami. We will make sure you join our family next. Be our next free agent signing here on Dolphins today. Help us get to 56,000 subs. If the Dolphins make another move, you know, we're going to be all over it right here on Dolphins today. He's Trey Sherrard. I'm Tyler Jones. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.